Arthur Schopenhauer's Philosophy of Will and Desire Arthur Schopenhauer, a 19th-century German philosopher, forged a unique philosophical path that continues to captivate scholars and thinkers today. At the heart of his intricate system of thought lies the enigmatic aphorism, a man can do what he wants, but not want what he wants. In this detailed exploration, we will delve into the profound layers of Schopenhauer's philosophy, dissecting the intricacies of the will, the paradox of human freedom, the role of desire, and the enduring relevance of his ideas. The will as the essence of reality. Schopenhauer's philosophy revolves around the concept of the will as the fundamental force underlying all existence. The will, in Schopenhauer's view, is an omnipresent, irrational, and blind force that propels the perpetual striving and desire to characterize the nature of reality. Unlike traditional philosophical views that emphasize reason and intellect, Schopenhauer places the will at the forefront, challenging conventional notions of agency. Consider the will as a driving force in everyday life. For example, the desire for success, wealth, or personal relationships can be seen as manifestations of the underlying will. Schopenhauer's perspective encourages us to look beyond rational explanations and consider the profound influence of this underlying force on our choices and actions. The Paradox of Human Freedom The aphorism, a man can do what he wants, but not want what he wants, encapsulates Schopenhauer's complex understanding of human freedom. On one hand, it acknowledges the capacity for individuals to exercise their will and make choices. However, the paradox lies in the limitation of our control over our own desires. While we can act in accordance with our will, the nature of our wants and desires remains elusive and often beyond our conscious control. Consider a person who decides to pursue a career in a particular field. They can exert their will to make choices and take actions aligned with this career path. However, the inherent desires that drive this choice may be influenced by subconscious factors, external pressures, or deeply ingrained patterns of thought. This paradox highlights the tension between our agency and the inherent irrationality of our desires. Desire as the source of suffering Schopenhauer contends that desire is the root cause of human suffering. The ceaseless striving for satisfaction, driven by the insatiable will to live, leads to a perpetual cycle of longing and discontent. The aphorism serves as a poignant reminder that the pursuit of our desires may not necessarily lead to lasting fulfillment. Consider the pursuit of material wealth as an example. Individuals may strive for financial success, believing it will bring happiness and satisfaction. However, Schopenhauer's philosophy suggests that the very nature of desire ensures that once one goal is achieved, new desires emerge, perpetuating the cycle of longing and dissatisfaction. The Ascetic Ideal In response to the predicament posed by desire and suffering, Schopenhauer introduces the ascetic ideal as a potential path to transcend the relentless pursuit of worldly desires. The ascetic, in Schopenhauer's view, seeks to renounce the will to live and detach from the cycle of desire and suffering. By minimizing desires and adopting a contemplative life, individuals can strive for a state of inner tranquility and liberation from the pervasive influence of the will. Explore the ascetic ideal in the context of religious practices or philosophical traditions that emphasize renunciation. Consider monks who embrace a life of simplicity, celibacy, and meditation in their quest to transcend worldly desires. The ascetic ideal provides a practical application of Schopenhauer's philosophy, offering a potential escape from the inherent dissatisfaction associated with the ceaseless striving of the will. Influence on later philosophers and thinkers Schopenhauer's philosophy has left an enduring mark on subsequent generations of thinkers. His ideas on the primacy of the will, the nature of desire, and the pursuit of inner peace influenced existentialist thinkers, psychoanalysts, and artists alike. Friedrich Nietzsche, initially influenced by Schopenhauer, engaged with and ultimately diverged from his ideas. Nietzsche's concept of the will to power, while departing from Schopenhauer's pessimism, still bears traces of the emphasis on the fundamental force driving human actions. Sigmund Freud drew parallels between Schopenhauer's notions of desire and the unconscious in the development of psychoanalytic theory. 
critiques and contemporary relevance. While Schopenhauer's philosophy offers a unique perspective on the human condition, it is not without its critiques. Some argue that his pessimistic view of existence neglects the potential for positive transformation and growth. Additionally, the deterministic nature of the will as an all-encompassing force has been contested. Consider criticisms of Schopenhauer's deterministic worldview in the context of contemporary debates on free will and determinism. Philosophers and scientists continue to grapple with questions about the extent of human agency and the impact of external factors on decision-making. Despite critiques, Schopenhauer's philosophy continues to resonate in contemporary discussions on desire, suffering, and the pursuit of meaning. Conclusion Arthur Schopenhauer's aphorism, A man can do what he wants, but not want what he wants, encapsulates the essence of his profound philosophy. Through the exploration of the will, desire, and the paradox of human freedom, Schopenhauer invites us to grapple with the complexities of existence. The recognition that our desires may elude conscious control challenges conventional notions of agency and freedom. As we navigate the landscape of Schopenhauer's thought, we confront the enduring questions of human longing, suffering, and the pursuit of inner peace, an intellectual journey that continues to captivate and provoke contemplation. Schopenhauer's philosophy serves as a timeless invitation to explore the depths of our own desires, the nature of the will, and the enigma of human freedom.